Inside Crime is brought to you by doTERRA. The doTERRA drug deactivation system helps stop opioid misuse before it starts. With doTERRA, unused prescription opioids and other drugs are gone for good. I'm Angeline Hartman. It's been six years since I worked at the iconic television show, America's Most Wanted, helping John Walsh catch the worst of the worst criminals. I caught 1,422 of the world's worst fugitives and best of all recovered 61 missing children. Now I work at NCMEC, the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children helping families and law enforcement at the nonprofit organization that John and his wife Reve created after the kidnapping and murder of their six-year-old son, Adam. I'm not even close to finished. Help me stop that guy from hurting somebody you love. John Walsh is at it again, this time with his son Callahan. Together, they're embarking on a family journey for justice. They're in pursuit of the country's most wanted fugitives. The brand new show is called In Pursuit with John Walsh, and it premieres January 16th on the Investigation Discovery Network. It's my honor to have them both with us as my special guests here on Inside Crime. Welcome to Inside Crime, my dear friends, John Walsh and Callahan Walsh. I'm still working for you, John, after all these years. It's fantastic. You worked so hard and did such a great job for America's Most Wanted. And think about that, a primetime television show that was a hit for 25 years. Yeah. Not that you worked for the whole 25 <laughs> years. But, um, but you did a great job there, and now you're here at the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children continuing to do a great job so always great to see you and you. now I get to work with my son Callahan who it, grew up you know following me around to all the Nick Mick things and now he's down there at the West Palm Beach office and working for Nick Mick which is fantastic and his part-time job on the weekends is working with me as a field reporter and in pursuit and it's wonderful we're Good. all still working for you John and no. every, every <laughs> Seven days a week. Good thing I went to school for family business, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's all good. So, Cal, what's, I mean, it's got to be a little surreal for you to work on this show with your dad. Yeah, absolutely. It's a little surreal just being out in front and uh, and working with my father. You know, we've worked together for a long time, but this is our first time sort of on air uh, together and really looking forward to it. I mean, they're huge shoes to fill, uh, but sure. uh, I'm, I'm just honored by the opportunity that, that I get to, to join my father and in his pursuit for justice for so many families that haven't gotten it. John, it's got to be, I know, exciting. It's um you're coming out of retirement yet again, yeah. but this time it's different. It is a, this has got to be a dream come true for you. To, it's a family affair here. And, and working with a big network. Uh, you know, uh, I try to retire. I'm, I'm 72 years old, and uh, I've been working nonstop. America's Most Wanted. We worked 51 weeks a year. You were there. And uh, the only time we really got off was Christmas. So I spent my whole life missing a lot of events that Callahan yeah. was at. Be, you know, try catching bad guys. But Discovery approached me in, you know, Discovery ID. There's 18 Discovery channels, and Discovery just bought seven channels from Scripps. They bought the Food Network, they bought the Home and Garden, you know, that wonderful channel about, about all the refurbishing. So Discovery itself has become a big player in the television business. Yeah. Big player. They have captured about 25% of the viewing audience, and ID was one of the fastest growing crime channels out there. So Hard to is, say no to that, huh? But the FBI and the marshals have been driving me nuts, yes. nonstop, nonstop saying, look, you caught 1,400 plus of the world's worst bad guys. Mm -hmm. You caught 17 guys off the FBI's 10, that's more than any FBI agent or field office in the history of the Bureau. But the best thing we did, we recovered 61 missing kids alive. Yeah. And uh, so they're saying, look, we have lots of problems in America, lots of mass shootings, 22 school shootings so in a year period. There's lots of bad guys out there. You have the, the, you have the trust 
of the American people. Yeah, you sure. still, I'm still going to do it the old way. Call me, go online, contact me. I don't care who you are, where you are. I don't care if you're legal, illegal. You tell me where the dirt bag is, and we'll go get him. You tell me his name, and I'll go find him. So, and that's and, the thing. It's the trust in yeah. you after all of these years in the yeah. integrity that has never gone away. I, I don't think you realize, John. You do get a lot of feedback, but for us here at the National Center, people still write, email, call, and me on all these other side things, projects that I do. They say like you know when can he come back what is yeah. going on when you know we need yeah. john walsh and so to hear that you're back it, it's just so exciting it's and it's with a great partner it, it the guy who runs discovery id henry schleif i've known for 30 years he started court tv he said to me you know you won an emmy for excellence in television you were number one for 25 years you caught the world's worst in 45 countries who does that and he says you know what just do it your way we're not going to micromanage it do it you do it the old way do it the old america's most wanted but the new version right and now we've got all these social media platforms that are so fantastic and uh, it's a new way of catching it's people. a new way you know our website was always in the <clears throat> top 10 tv primetime websites depending on the season but we the first the first year we had a website it's hard for anybody listening to this to believe that America's Most Wanted started when there was <laughs> the internet wasn't there. There were no websites, etc. But we caught forty guys the first year. So, and I caught guys in countries that America's Most Wanted didn't even air on because people are fascinated by crime, or they were fascinated by the fact that I was a crime victim and had a murdered son and had a successful TV show. So those social platforms and the internet, yes, it's a place for bad guys to hide and do some terrible things. But it's also a kick-ass way to get the word out and get recover missing children and find bad guys. And Discovery ID has been a great new home for us. I mean, yes. a real warm welcome. We're really looking forward to the new yeah. season. And what's beautiful is, as I understand it, you said to them, we have to do make sure that the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children is a part of this show. The missing is... That's the deal. I said, okay, I'll consider it if we get to do a missing child every show or more. If Let's say there's two or three big breaking cases. And that you will showcase my involvement with the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children in Callahan. So we'll do two cases an episode, uh, what we call the A story and the B story. I'll do the B stories. My father does the A stories. And then at the end of the episodes, we'll show the photo of a missing child. So really, again, getting as many eyeballs on those images of missing children is really what it's all about. We want to make sure the National Center benefits from this show, that they're highlighted, uh, and that hopefully we can get a recovery of some of these missing kids. For us at the National Center, we just appreciate the attention because as, as long as the, you know this, as long as the center has been around, a lot of people still don't recognize the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children and its work. Um, so to bring it to this show and be a regular part of that, I think is important and it elevates it. It's a nonprofit that you know, I wish that we had the national recognition that Boys and Girls Clubs has. We're, Callahan always says it, we're the best kept secret. It breaks my heart when even law enforcement, I'll meet somebody in law enforcement that doesn't know the center exists. And that's, you know, we're here for law enforcement, the resources that we have. We're here for families as well, but for law enforcement, we have some incredible tools and resources f directly for law enforcement to help them and aid them in the search for missing children. And people need to know about us, it's families. Not, that's not a great about, thing that we're the best kept yeah, secret. it's not a great mm -hmm. thing, as you say. So Henry Schleif and Discovery said, we love it. We, we know about your association with Nick Mick. We know that you, were, you and your wife founded it. We know what it does, and we're thrilled that you're going to incorporate it. We're going to have our hotline at, your, at the new building, you know, the, the In Pursuit hotline. So it's going to be a great partnership. So I said, if it doesn't include Nick Mick, and missing children, I'm not in. They went, of course we want Nick Mick. In because Nick Mick is yeah. a part of you. Pe Absolutely. For people who don't realize that, just briefly, yeah. I know it's a long story, but you are the creator of the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Almost 35 years ago. My wife, Reve, out of the need when the FBI refused to enter Adam's case, when our six-year-old son was kidnapped, in the two weeks that he was missing, it was a nightmare. Had a very in... Uh, you know, a tiny, small police department, Hollywood, Florida, no help, no Amber Alerts, no National Center, no searches, no Team Adams, nothing, uh, no Internet. It was a nightmare during those two weeks. And so we started, Reve did, and it started the National Center to help 
parents of missing, non-custodial parental abductions, runaways, unsolved murders of kids, unidentified dead. And in those days, the NCIC, the National Crime Information Computer, when Adam went missing in July 19, 27, 1981, they didn't enter Adam in the NCIC. The only thing that was in the NCIC back then was stolen planes, cars, convicted felons, and a racehorse. People cannot believe that. No, and I didn't know it. I'm going, you got to put my little boy in there. He's six years old. And I said, what? If, and, and their county coroner said, God, what if he's dead in another county? There's no unidentified dead adult or child uh a system in the in, in repository in the whole country. They weren't connecting the different no, jurisdictions. I went, I went, holy, God, we put a man on the moon and we don't have a way to, if a person's child is kidnapped and murdered in Mississippi and the child's from Florida, you'll never get the body back. The body will be buried in a, a John or Jane Doe grave. So that's how we started. We started battling and now we are here. And 35 uh, years 35, later. 35 and on the fourth floor, I don't know how many federal agencies that up to, I think it's about 17, the only place in America where federal law enforcement agencies sit side by side, roll up their sleeves, those men and women on the fourth floor hunt for predators online, all over work to f find sex traffickers, pimps that are involved in, in all types of exploitation of children, and uh, it's the only place in America. So we've come a long, long way. Yeah, it's an organization so that started in my parents' garage. It's right. gone on to help recover over 270,000 missing children. On a card children. table, as you like to say. A absolutely. And, and, you know, I grew up with my parents telling me we need to make sure Adam didn't die in vain. And whether it's the show or the center here, uh, we're continuing to honor his legacy through the work that, that my parents and, and I continue to do. And a lot of great people Absolutely. support us now, and a lot of corporate America, and a lot of the tech companies, mm -hmm. Facebook, Lexus, Nexus. So we get so much of our technology, hardware, software, from the tech companies, and it really um, it's just it, evolved into this. Americans are good for settling up. You know, yeah. you this issue them. hasn't affected every household, and thank God for that. But the amount of people that do saddle up and have either joined the fight or have donated, they really show that they care, and that really that's what it's all about. Yeah, you must be so proud, John, and be so touched proud, by. Proud of the people that has helped us over the years. I'm proud that one of my children works at the center. This is was Reves in our dream. I'm proud of people like you that decided instead of staying in the kind of mercenary, ruthless entertainment and media business, you guys came over here to work at the center, and it's helped them immensely. I mean, you're you brought you and many of the people that used to work for me, both of you used to work for me, have taken the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children into the 21st century. We have a big presence on social media. We recover children on the internet and through social media. Now we have these tech companies. I mean, look at Facebook. They they have Amber Alerts on your smartphone. Nobody yes. watches. You know, the, it was a great idea when we got the Amber Alert passed. Yes, roadside signs, electronic signs, Traditional radio, traditional television. Well, anybody under 30, they don't watch traditional television. They're streaming their favorite programs. They're looking, everything they it's do a, is on a smartphone or a droid. It's a and different world now. And now Facebook, right away, there's a regional alert on your on your phone. What and it includes a picture, yeah, too. It includes a picture, absolutely. <clears throat> and maybe a description, for sure, of the car or the perpetrator. It took. It's the Amber Alert on steroids. So. Wow. I know you're doing a lot of different stories, a lot of different kinds of cases for the show. So far on the show, is there a case that has hit you harder than others or like is, has stuck with you? There is, absolutely. Uh, it's a case that we actually had profiled in the past on The Hunt. Uh, it's a guy named uh, Rick McLean. He was a serial child molester. Uh, with the Jehovah's Witnesses. He was moved around from congregation to congregation. Uh, the elders knew about um, some of his misconduct in the past and said nothing to the other parents. This was a guy that um, was the, the, the guy that put together and scheduled all the kids' outings and, and the get-togethers within the organization and was the one that took them to the, the theme parks and to the beach and uh, had a, the, the, the pool and had sleepovers at his house and would molest these, these girls. And so it, it took a, a young, brave girl to finally come forward, and he vanished. Uh, and that's when they found out that he had molested many other young girls within the Jehovah's Witnesses. Um, he's been on the run ever since. He looks just like an average older guy. There's nothing really that sticks out about him.
you probably wouldn't think uh, twice about him. Like I said, he just kind of looks like an older grandfather at this point, um, but he's a dangerous, dangerous guy. We know lepers don't change their spots. He's likely molesting kids somewhere else. I don't think he's with the Jehovah's Witnesses, but I do believe he's with another tight-knit community, something like that, where he does have access to these children. And this is a guy that we really need to take down. How many victims are we talking about? You know? Multiple, multiple wow. victims. It's, uh, it was documented over 100 victims. Over 100. Over 100. And there's likely children that haven't come forward. So that number, you know, the, the real number is undetermined. I think this guy's catchable. I, I think, you know, somebody will spot him. It's just a matter of time. Uh, we want to make sure we get this guy off the streets. Isn't it amazing, Cal, how people out there really do want to help and they see, I mean, we've seen it with America's Most Wanted mm -hmm. and other things. And now with social media, they are getting involved in a different way, isn't it? Absolutely. Interesting. And, and there's so many different levels to that on social media. You have just the average person that, that will see these posts, and then you have these sort of armchair detectives. Right. These, right. these internet sleuths that have... I love them. Yeah, I mean, you look at places like Reddit and other sites that... Um, They're into it, man. They really are, and, and they have in the past provided some, some great information. Yeah, it's so awesome, Cal. I'm so happy for you guys. I really appreciate you coming on this show. I'm so glad to do it with you, and I hope people will, you know. if A lot of people don't have cable anymore, so yeah. if you don't, you won't see Discovery ID. But I'm asking the public to say, okay, I'm coming out of retirement. I'm saddling up one more time because America is having some huge problems. The level of violence, homicides in many of our cities are up 300%. Sh non-stop shootings, mass murders. This is not the America most of us grew up on. So we're saddling up and I'm gonna ask people, please tune in. You can tape it, you can get it online, you can watch it on Hulu, but help me catch these creeps and get missing children back. Watch in, you know, in pursuit with John Walsh in January, 2019. And it's always great to see you. Thank you so much, John. You continue to be an inspiration for so many. Thank you for everything you do. And for me personally, it has been an honor to work with you and for you. I know I speak for America when we say thank you to all of you. Well, thanks for having me on your show. Thank Good you. luck. Thank, thank you. For having you. Us. You're welcome. And that's it for this very first season of Inside Crime. I'm your host, Angeline Hartman. Thank you to all of you who have tuned in and helped spread the word about our show. Our guests have been incredible. Their stories have been compelling, heartbreaking, and inspirational. We'd like to hear from you. Please leave a review with your favorite podcast app. A special thank you to our sponsor, Verde Technologies, makers of the doTERRA drug deactivation system. We'll be back soon with season two of Inside Crime. Meanwhile, you can reach out to me anytime on Twitter at AngelineDC. And our website is InsideCrime.com.